So here we are at the Singapore River. It's the 16th of um, July 2014. Uh, so it's quite a skyline. It's round uh, tower. I've been near that before. You can see the clock tower, which I think is of the Singapore Sports Club, as in mainly cricket. A um, bit of Parliament House with a national flag flying above it. The five stars. Remember, after I was in Singapore, I wrote to them the next term from Oxford saying, oh, why, why don't you call your country the five star nation? And I got some sort of reply from a government official, but uh, it wasn't affirmative anyway. Um, that domed building is part of the old Supreme Court. Um, a bit like the four courts in, in Dublin. Um, and there's a new purpose built. Um, well, this was the old one's purpose built. There's a new Supreme Court building, but it's um, quite banal. I can't make it out. It's quite close to here. So um, this, this white bridge here, Elgin Bridge, that was where Sir Stamford Raffles landed in 1816 or thereabouts. Penny Black Pub, I don't remember that, but they serve Guinness, so it can't be all bad. Although I'm actually only lukewarm on Guinness. Uh, just because I'm Irish, I don't pretend to um, especially like everything Irish. Quite like whiskey. Our beer, I only feel so-so about, maybe because it's so uh, fattening. Look at that, wow. Um, so it's not changed enormously, this section, since I was here in 2001. But further back, there are more really high tower blocks there. I remember walking along this stretch of river, going to Far East Square one Saturday evening with several other exchange students from um, National University of Singapore, two uh, hulking Swedish boys, one of them being one of the Swedish spe Special Forces says, oh, it's a bit like Spessnuts, if you know that. And I did, that's the Russian Special Forces. It, yeah, it sounds so brutal, but I don't want to be like that. Yeah, one that's called Johan, um, who was also very muscular and they spoke flawless English, like typical Swedes. So, um, here we are. Quite a few fortifications around. You can see all this sort of office attire. Some are actually rather revealing um, because we're near all the banks, insurance companies and so on. But I'm glad they preserved this street, you know, as it was before, as a pedestrian street. A few things which are human scale. Because some of it is just very large and impersonal. Right, I'll switch it off now.